So Mother Earth just keeps giving us gifts. We have already found a couple of parasol mushrooms on our land. And right now I'm just having a walk in our cork forest and I found another one. And yes, we are aware that uh, there are poisonous mushrooms that are similar to parasol mushrooms. So we really took our time to make sure that those are really parasol mushrooms that we have. And I will show you a few of the signs. The first one, everybody says, is the size. They are getting pretty big. This one is a relatively small one, but still, the other mushrooms usually don't get that big, but we already had a few bigger ones. The other uh, thing that um, puts them apart from their dangerous or poisonous lookalikes is this little nipple here. If you can see, it it has okay this one is not very strong the nipple but sometimes they have a little little nipple here and also the stem it needs to be like this it's a little bit like a snake skin because they grow super fast and probably the most distinctive feature is that this little ring here it's called the skirt of the mushroom it's kind of loose if you very carefully try to move it up and down, you will see that it's not really connected to the mushroom. Look carefully. If you look carefully what I'm doing here, you will see that it's kind of loose. But the surest way, of course, is to ask locals. And that's what we did as well. And for now, we have found a lot of parasol mushrooms on our land. And we are really sure how to distinguish them. And now I would like to show you my favorite way to fry parasol mushrooms. When I was a kid, my mom used to fry them with egg and flour. But since I'm vegetarian now and don't eat eggs, I have made up my own recipe that tastes even better. My recipe uses chickpea flour instead of eggs and flour. And since chickpeas are gluten-free, this recipe is also gluten-free and contains as much proteins as an egg would do. I like to add a little bit of baking powder for fluffiness, but you don't have to do that. I like to add a little bit of curry powder or some other Indian spices. But this is again completely a personal taste. If you don't like it, you don't have to add it. Just chickpea flour, salt and water is the basic recipe. Mm -hmm. 